the most notable feature of today's networks is they are pretty smart the smartness that we understand actually started from the automation of networking tasks from purely manual tasks so from manual or manned systems to autom autom automated systems to automatic systems eventually to autonomic systems so this is the evolution how the networks have grown to be smarter every day this concept in general is known as self organizing networks we'll quickly and briefly look at the concept see its definition and see only some of the features which are provided by self organizing networks abbreviated as sons parallel to the emergence of release 8 by the 3gpp community the concept of self organizing networks was proposed although it's not a very new concept because certain program scripts certain batch processes are already run in telecom networks for quite some time however the automation of the network to allow it to handle contingencies and uh, if else situations is the strength of self organizing networks self organization actually can be summarized through a model known as f caps that is fault management configuration management accounting management performance management and security management in all these management functionalities configuration management is what acts as central piece to the f caps implementation it means for a system to self organize its configuration has to be correct so the concept of sons actually was targeting the automation of the network equipment primarily the radio side the ran side in lte and ltea so formally uh, sons are basically an automation of uh, radio access networks to make them um, efficient uh easy to administer and simple to manage since sons can have very different proprietary and customized implementations so son as a standardized mechanism is actually an ongoing effort that is meant to provide free deployment that is planning phase ease of planning automated and automatic configuration and the self ness of the system in terms of management that is system is able to self manage itself it self optimizes itself self optimization means it keeps improving in performance by learning the current context and situation and in case failure occurs then the fault error and failure are isolated their effect is limited and overall the system automatically tries to come out as a healed and corrected system so self organizing networks is essentially a very large and comprehensive vision though we cannot exemplify exactly the operation of sons however for the sake of brevity and for trying to look at and better understand operation of self organizing networks let's look at how the e node bs can be enabled through all this self organization mechanism 
let's look at it first as we know that in the customer premises be it home subscriber or a corporate subscriber there's a requirement to allow inter e node b handoff for that the e node b's or home e node b's need to have a kind of neighborly relationship with each other that is they should know each other they should discover each other they should establish connection with each other so that smooth handoff can take place for that automatic neighbor relation discovery is a feature once it is enabled we'll say we are a step closer to self organizing the networks similarly in the wake of uh, e node b failure that is a uh, femtocell suddenly disappears or it starts showing a degraded performance we need to have some kind of outage management or compensation mechanism if it is incorporated into the network we'll say yes we are yet another step closer to achieving self organization so self organization actually allows the system be it e node b's or um node b's simply as in lte we want some kind of simple plug and play mechanism which allows a system to bootstrap and configure at at its own to some default parameters now compare this to a pure manned activity uh, the example given here is of a uh, uh, wireless local area network wifi router uh, in more formal sense a wifi ap access point uh, a typical time involved for a man that is the man power of an individual needs 20 minutes of dedicated time to enable or up a wlan router now this involves human intervention compare this to automating this process and scale it up to starting from few hundred to tens and thousands it means if you look at the scalability point of view self organizing networks is definitely going to stay compared to the more manned systems